What up with you guys? You know who it is. It's your boy, John Mike. And today I am here with the AKM 320 by the good folks over at MIDI Plus. So this is officially the cheapest, the cheapest MIDI controller on Amazon right now that you can get clocked in at about 35 bucks. So it's not something, definitely not something that's going to break the bank. I could easily spend 35 bucks a week going out uh, to fast food. With the amount of kids that I have, I could spend $35 on one meal trying to feed everybody. So this is definitely not a bank breaker, but it's the cheapest MIDI controller on uh, Amazon right now. Something that you can get. So is it good? Is it bad? Let's take a look at it and see. Now, as you can see here, it's, uh, you know, moderately thick. It's not like super duper thick or anything like that. It's thin. It's small enough to probably fit into uh, your average backpack or what have you. Uh, so that's a good thing. Uh, it comes with a sustained pedal port, which is cool. Regular MIDI uh, USB jack. That's pretty much all it is in terms of like ports and all of that good stuff like that. Uh, you have an octave button and a transpose button and a volume uh, slider. Uh, a mod wheel and a pitch bin, which those are like the top things for me. A lot of these micro mini keyboards, they have uh, the little slider thing that they're going to, as opposed to tactile uh, mod, mod and pitch bin wheels. So I'm a fan, fan of the, the actual physical thing like some people are. Now, uh, the keys, the key bed. Not the best feeling, but what do you expect for 30 bucks? Uh, it doesn't feel too cheap, but it doesn't feel like pro grade either. And it feel a little stiff to me, but that could be just because it just came out the box. You know, maybe with some, some use of a few months of the kind of break in. Now, I wouldn't suggest this for like, you know, really playing some piano piano stuff for a lot of reasons. One, you don't have a whole lot of keys and two, the velocity curve on this dynamically is just not uh, as good as some micro boards are. You know, it's not the best in terms of that, but uh, if you're trying to just like Or use it to play some synth stuff, some synth leads, just kind of bang out some stuff. Maybe you're on a flight, maybe you're there. This is definitely like doable and usable for that sort of thing. So it's not, even though it's cheap, it's not like the cheapest thing. It doesn't feel like a toy. It actually feels like something that I could use as a tool I could keep in my bag. And if I was just like, you know, playing some aux parts or some lead parts, I could really do that with this. You know, I think it would work with that, the little uh, volume thing. Of course, the mod works really good, and the pitch bend isn't too stiff or anything. Now, the big cons with this is that it does not come with any software, uh, any kind of software at all, no Ableton Live, nothing like that. Um, but, you know, you don't really have much control for it. This is meant to just be keys, plug it up and play. You know what I mean? Uh, that's what it's meant to be. It's not meant to be like a DAW control surface or anything like that. It's just um, some keys. And this plug and play work just fine with my Mac. No drivers or nothing like that needed. You just plug it up and start playing. Uh, so uh, that's just the only thing. That's the con is that it doesn't come with any software and it doesn't, uh, the, the key bed is not the best. But what do you expect from a microcontroller, which, which is meant to just kind of play some little you know, on the go things, you know, maybe on a bus or on a train or a plane traveling uh, in a hotel and you just want something that's hyper portable, 35 bucks, not going to break the bank. So if you decide you want to get this, if I decide that you want to purchase this and this video helps you make that decision, uh, there's an affiliate link down in the description of this video. I would really appreciate it if you uh, support the channel just by clicking that link and making that purchase. It helps support the channel, allows me to keep buying little keyboards and things like that to do reviews on this channel on. I appreciate you guys hanging out with your boy. I'll talk to you guys on the next video. I'm out. Holla at your boy.